Hey guys, Captain Crunch here, back again at the Clear Creek Boat Launch in League City, Texas, guys. This boat launch has provided a bunch of great videos in the past, and today it will provide way more. Guys, there's a boat that you're about to see here in a minute in the background that is actually sinking. It is currently taking on so much water. Both drain plugs are missing. The bilge pump is trying to consistently pump out all the water, but you know as much water as they've taken on, it's not gonna happen, guys. They're not gonna be able to get all that water out. He's standing in water currently. Plus, he doesn't even know how to put his boat on the trailer properly. His wife thinks that just if you have the tires touching the water, that they can get the boat on the trailer. It's absolutely ridiculous, guys. Remember to like, share, subscribe, comment down below. Let me know what you think of the video. And guys, remember to hit that subscribe button. It really helps the YouTube algorithm and it really keeps us moving forward. Thank you so much, guys. There's the boat right there in the background. The wife is waving her hand like, what the hell's going on? She doesn't know yet. Stay tuned, guys. You're not gonna wanna miss this one. All right, guys, so at this point, I don't have any idea about what's going on. I think there's just two boats waiting out there uh, to come into the launch. I think this blue boat was gonna come in first, and yeah, I didn't necessarily know what all was happening here. But as I'm about to see and find out, there's some crazy stuff going on. So the guy in the blue boat whose trailer I was just looking at was saying the safety chain was dragging and that's why the woman in the teal shirt said he got it. So the lady that's standing on the trailer is the owner of the boat that's that's pulling in the boat that is sinking currently. So guys, again, I really don't know exactly what's going on at this point in time, but I'm focusing on this blue boat and I was lucky enough, I caught all this in the background of the shot. You can see that they're actually tying off the boat in the rear to the boat in the front so that the boat in the front can tow the sinking boat in. So they start to put tow the boat in and guys, this is where you start to see all the water that is spewing out of the side of this boat. So after they get this boat towed to the dock, this boat is gonna sit there taking on water for at least 10 more minutes before they even attempt to move it and get it put on the trailer. So the Good Samaritan captain that towed him in gets his boat on his trailer and towed out of the water fairly easily, fairly quickly, without hardly any problems at all. Like this one's sinking on a little bit of water here guys as you can see right here it is just spitting water out of the side of the boat and goodness guys if you actually listen you can hear the water spewing out of the side of the boat back into clear creek so i sped this up guys it takes him a few minutes to get his ropes unknotted detangled and out of the boat to actually go get the trailer So he finally gets the trailer backed up here and as he's backing it up, you're going to hear his wife say, you're in, you're in, when he's only got tail lights, lights and part of the tires in the water. He doesn't even have the fenders of the trailer barely touching the water. She literally 
literally just saying, do you need mommy to steer the boat? Guys, I can't tell if she was insulting him or if she was being genuine and asking him if he needs help and that's maybe their pet names. You let me know what you think below, guys. This is one of the best parts. You're gonna see these people put this boat on this trailer just like this. It's gonna take them about 10 minutes to get them fully loaded onto the trailer here with help of another captain, guys. This is one of the best parts. Please, please, please stay tuned. I do still wanna point out that you can still hear the water pouring out of the side of this boat, guys. All right, guys, so the motor doesn't work. So they're having to use the ropes to pull it onto the trailer, guys. The, the trailer is not even deep enough to get a boat put on it, even if the motor was working. They would have an incredibly hard time power loading this boat onto the trailer. So right about here, they're trying to use brute strength to pull this boat onto the trailer. And then finally, he's like, nah, I ain't doing this anymore. Let's get the winch and pull this up. You want to know why? Because one gallon of water equals roughly 8.34 pounds. And imagine how many gallons of water are actually in this boat currently. He's probably looking at at least 100 pounds, if not more, that he's trying to pull uphill. This is ridiculous. And finally, guys, another captain takes pity on him and is asking what's going on. Figures out he's struggling. The other captain jumps down here to help him out. Tells him he needs to back in a little bit more. So work smarter, not harder, guys. This, this old captain knows. Get it in there, get it on there, and get out of there. He's not even going to tilt up his motor. Oh my God, guys. When you see this boat pull out, you see all the water just pouring out of it. When you see it in a minute, you'll actually see water coming out of the motor itself. Holy crap, guys. This is absolutely one of the worst things I've ever seen. I cannot believe that this guy either lost his drain plugs or forgot them or didn't know that he needed them. I mean, how ridiculous is that? But guys, let me know what you thought and think in the comment section. Thank you for watching. I hope you'll have a great day. Stay tuned and I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace out.